You are now listening to Next Legacy Radio, a radio station for the people. As we begin this Ladies Night Radio, I want to welcome the whole wide universe on this edition. You know what? Why, why did I start a show with a song like that? It got me feeling kind of a certain way tonight to start off the show. I don't like, know. I'm, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling kind of, I'm feeling kind of real. I'm feeling kind of heated well, over that right I'm, now. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in a way I'm where. On the end of the song. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm asked, I'm asked. I mean, well, Christina, no, I'm about to put her mic on in a second, but I want to welcome y'all to, to this edition of Ladies Night Radio. I am Brandy here alongside you, Herder, my beautiful host, Denia, is in the building. And, um, you know, tonight we got a good show. We got a couple of guests, and we're, we're, we're leading off with a, with, with a true, true, true hardworking woman on the, on the R&B soul tip that, uh, that I definitely want the world to know. So I'm glad everybody's here. And also I want to make sure that y'all people out there listening know that Brandon and Denai will debut a brand new song from MC Light as well, and I want to shout out MC Light for calling, I mean, not calling in, but for giving us uh, the beautiful drop Amazing to start off this, drop, uh, this, 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 this wave of uh, Ladies Night Music, but also um, her beautiful uh, song that we're going to debut as well. So, And I appreciate all you people worldwide listening. So like I said, Ladies Night Radio hosted by Denai, I am Brandon, we are here, and leading off is my... Guess don't really call her. A, I want to call her a guess. I mean, I, I think she's more like, you know, can't really call her the home girl because you know I, I guess a lot of people can get to know this young lady, but you know by you hearing her voice right here tonight to lead off the show, I mean I, I can already say like, and I told Christina like, yo, like I was just zoning out to your music. <laughs> Still in a certain kind of way, like you know. I want to welcome Christina Love to Ladies Night Radio. Christina Love, what's up, baby? What's up, boo? How y'all doing? Good. good. How are you, Mama? Good, good, good. Thank you for having me. First well, I appreciate you. Really I appreciate you for uh, you know taking the time out and and, and giving us some some uh, insights on on. Um, what's what and of course let me start off by saying shout out to your team jazzymanagement.com is the website um, and also for jazzymanagement at gmail.com for all things um, you know Christina Love and, and, and the movement of jazzy management so to start off I want to ask you my queen like you know of course we all want to get to know you and you know all the listeners <laughs> all over the world want to yeah I like to get to know you I mean you know <laughs> Uh, you know, you but know, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, like you know, I would love to. So you know, to, I'm I'm trying to make it sound like I'm not the only person in the in the room or yeah, listening I'm, right I'm now. Sure I'm, the guys are going crazy right now because they heard the last thirty seconds. They're like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? Uh-oh. Cut off! Uh-oh. I love it. I love that. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, is that a moan? Is she moaning? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then she cut the song right at that point. I love that. I was like, aw. Nah, yeah, yeah. I was going to hear something in you. For real, like. And then, and then when she said, I'm done, I was like, what? No. You can't be done. No. You can't be done. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, uh, uh, but you know, for everybody out there that that that's that's listening to you for the first time, like, you know, break down your bio for the for the people as far as who who don't know you. I know you're uh, well, you know, like I said, I did my own work on you, so I know enough to know exactly about you myself. But all the listeners out there from not just in the state of California, but all over the globe, give them the four one one about Miss Christina Love. Well, um, a little bit about myself. I started singing when I was about nine years old, and then I just kept going and going and going. And then about 14, I started rapping, I did a little rapping, and then um, got into this group. I formed a group in South Carolina called the House Pound, opened up for a few people like Mario, um, like all the young cats, Lil Sammy, stuff like that, and then um, joined the military. And then I, once I joined, I just happened to, I, every time I stopped doing music, I always happen to go back into it in some sort of way. It's, it's dancing or writing music or whatever. So my passion is really writing. Um, 
and then I wrote that song, Feeling. I was just riding down the street, and then I started seeing, like, Feeling his eyes. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a song called Feeling. <laughs> and, I, and I'm very and I'm very sexual. Like, when I explain stuff, when I describe stuff, I can't help it. Like, yes. I, I try to explain stuff to my friend, and I'm like, no, put that in your mouth like this, like, slower. You know? Like, yeah. I just can't help it. I'm like... <laughs> But but I'm very I'm very sexual and um wow. and I enjoy and, and I and I love that that um that '90s type music you know that old school feel that that pe- that people don't make anymore like Sierra I love her music love her music mm-hmm. so um, instead of just singing I would I just write just so that I can express myself for other people like stuff that people can't say like I got another song called Movie. And um, it's basically just telling women, you know, be comfortable to make a movie with your man. If he mm. wants you to make a movie, then make a movie with him. I don't think mm. that's wrong with it. Mm. So, but um, that's, that's basically where I am right now. And I'm just just trying to, you know, do a little something for the ladies. But you still be sexy for my for, for the dude. <laughs> man. I'm here with cheesing. <laughs> for the rest of the show, I bet you. I of course. You. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. I mean, I, I mean, you you got me not really want to ask you no more questions now. I'm like, you know, hey, I'm like, wow. That's it. But uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Nah, you Nah, that's that's dope. I mean, the the fact that you could be able to sing and uh, you know lyrically get down is definitely a good look. And of course, you know, you working in the Bay Area, I know you work with a lot of MCs and stuff like that or whatever. So, what's been like some of the the high points in your early career so far? Um, I would say opening up for Tyga. That was that was a dope look. Um, just. Just being around, like, just, even though Lil Wayne and Nicki wasn't in the building, just being around him made me feel like I was around them. So I was really, like, I, I felt blessed. You know, e- even though that he wasn't, like, the biggest name person that I could, you know, be around or mm-hmm. be able to meet, I just still felt like I was at a good, a great point, you know, in my career. And I just, I got to keep it going. A few Bay Area people that I've worked with, um, I've worked with Smoothie Baby, and uh, he's a rapper. I used to be in this group called Black Money, and they're doing really well. Uh, so shout out to them. Um, R.O.D., you know, he's one of my mentors. Uh, I love Earth the Jerks. I am Sue. Like, just being in the Bay, That's this is like a great place to come out of. You know, it's always been, but mm-hmm. people wasn't seeing us. You know what I mean? People wasn't hearing us. People wasn't seeing us. So... It's just great. Just Cali, period. I can't even really say just the Bay because I don't, you know, I don't want people in L.A. to get upset. But everybody's right. doing their thing, you know, everybody. Okay. So I really appreciate all of the artists because I, I take a little bit, you know, from everybody. I listen to everybody, even mainstream music. So, right. But, um, yeah. So, so. Definitely. <laughs> so in, this, in a male-dominated business, how has your journey been so far, getting to know your own flavor and, you know, calling your own shots when it comes to your music? Oh, man, that's hard. I'm always dealing with that because um, a male will always get respect. It's, it's kind of different because um, by me being a female and by me talking about what I'm talking about, I'm already prejudged. Right. So um, I just have to remain um, confident, you know, strong, and just do my thing. Like, you know, you can't tell me how to do me. You know what I mean? I can only do me the way that I want to, regardless if right. it's a female, a, a dude. But I just keep pushing. I keep pushing no matter what. You know, and it's not even not even dudes. And I, and I get a lot of respect from the dudes, uh, you know, on the music side. I don't, I don't know about personal feelings or whatever, but um, musically I get a lot of respect. And right. it's a little a little harder the more you um, the more publicity you get because a lot of people stop messing with you and it's like when, really? when you see that you really got it yeah yeah like the more the further you get into a career or the more shine you get people just they don't want to mess with you mm-hmm. and it's crazy it's crazy but that that doesn't stop me that never right, stops exactly. me I just keep doing my thing you know and when I see him on the street I smile. 
I still be like, oh, let's work. But I'm not about to beg nobody now. <laughs> I right. don't beg exactly. nobody. I heard, I heard that. <laughs> but, you I'm know, it's, 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 it's all good. I just try to click to women. I, I try to, you know, work with women and reach out to other women so that that can give me some sort of inspiration, you know. But can't just rely on men. I love my men, though. I love, I love them. Yeah, I love, but, I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> I see that was coming. But I, I think you said something that's really valid when you talk about, you know, finding with women because that is so important. We can't just be on this whole hateration thing of like, you don't have these shoes or you don't have this hairstyle, so now we can't talk. You know, we can't be friends. And so I think that's the one thing that that is missing is that sisterhood in this mm-hmm. industry because we're too busy yeah. to one up and backstab each other that we're not working together like we should be. Exactly. Exactly. But I, so, I, I love everybody. Everybody I love. That's why my name is Christina Love. <laughs> I love everybody. I, love, I, love I try you to too. get along I try to get along with everybody but I love you too, baby. I try I to get along you. with everybody but <laughs> but if it doesn't happen, you know, I don't try to force it. I just Absolutely. No, I, I definitely want to force it. Let the love come, baby. Let it come. See, oh come. I know. Huh? I'm, I'm, I gonna get come. This, I'm, I'm gonna get this when you leave. I swear, you gonna do this the entire night. Just saying. Go, go back and, and, I'm a, and I'm a, and I'm a, you know, all through the night tonight for the next two hours, I'm gonna be saying Christina yep. Love's name sure. all I'm, night I'm, long. I'm and that's fine. I'm sure you will. And, and yes. Christina, okay, you I'm wouldn't mind night. that either, right? You wouldn't mind I that sure at all. Wouldn't. Right? Okay. I sure well, wouldn't. I sure wouldn't. You can call her all night. All right, done deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in your opinion, um, what do you think of the R&B music scene today? How how much different do you think it is today from back, let's say, back in the 90s? Um, honestly, I think, uh, I, I, I hope I can say this, and if this is safe to say, but I think uh, Miguel is honestly, like, reviving R&B music in a way, out of all the R&B singers, I think him and, you know, Rihanna's always been doing her thing, but Rihanna, um, Sierra, and Miguel, they're they're bringing it back. It's starting to come back. You know, it's okay. it's, it's always going to repeat itself. But for a while, I was a little, I was a little worried. So I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, what the hell are they doing? No, no. Every song I hear, like, no. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. This isn't R&B, but... It's starting to come back. There's always so what R&B do you think was wrong with it? What do you think was wrong with it? And you were saying, like, oh, no, what do you think was the problem? I think it's everybody's trying to be like everybody else. You know what I mean? If a, if a style If a style comes out, um, people are so accustomed to that style that they're afraid to do their own thing and be different. So right. I think that's what the issue is. So, like, when club music came out, everybody ran with that. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. Still running with that. But mm-hmm. Sierra, she took it to another level. Miguel took it to another level. You know what I mean? It still came out with a club song, but it was R&B. They weren't afraid to do, you know, do what they love, keep be make club music, but still be different, you know, and think outside the box. Like Adorn, that's a club song. You know, pe- people just don't. I think, like I said, I think it's just people are trying to be like everybody else and afraid to think outside the box and make music, you right, know, right. for themselves and not just for every everybody else. Like, if people like it, great, but you, you'd never know unless you try it, you know? No so doubt. And, and, and you brought up a good point, and Christina Love is our guest on Ladies Night Radio. Um, you know, the, the difference between... Cause you do you do MC work and you do a lot of R and B stuff too. So what is there is there a need to separate the two or is it always going to be hand in hand? You know, two songs, two people, you know, two traditional genres kind of like working together because they kind of need each other now as opposed to seeing a lot of people just doing traditional R and B work or just you know without having MCs featured. I think. I, I honestly think it depends on the singer or it depends on the rapper. Okay. Like every rapper can't every rapper can't have an R&B, you know what I mean, hook on True. it. Or, True. You know, Absolutely. and I feel like that, just do your own thing. Like, I got tired of hearing Lil Wayne on Every Damn Song for a while. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 
I got yeah, that. Right. I'm like, really? Okay. You do not need to be on this song. Like, especially right. how to love. Like, you could have gave that song to an R&B singer and let mm-hmm. an R&B singer sing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, you can't. Exactly. You don't. You don't always have to just just do your own thing. But with me, right. it's it's a, it's a little hard because I do rap and I sing. So I do find I see myself like kind of um, having an issue with that. Mm-hmm. Like trying to, if I rap, I'm like, okay, I can't be too hard, but I can't be too sick. You know what I mean? So right. I, sometimes I just don't even rap on the song or I'll get someone else to do it. It just depends on my mood. But as far as other people go, it's like it just depends on the song. It depends on the track. If it's an R&B sex song, you don't want to hear Twister at the end of it. Like, I don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I want to listen to an R&B song and make love. I don't just the rap it throws me off. It Word. throws me completely off. I feel <laughs> but you. But it just depends. It depends on the person. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got you. So let me let me ask you this then. Um, do people like take you serious more as a R&B soul female, or they take you more serious on the MC side, or is it a little bit of both? That. Everyone that I've came across, they just take me serious as an artist. Okay. Because and and then once they once they find out that I write my own music, it it just takes me to a whole another level. You know what I mean? Like right. oh my god, you write too? Like not a. It's it's rare that like I don't even know artists that write their own music. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. even people right. in the industry, like Beyonce, right. don't even write her own music. So. Um, right. So, but when I tell them that, like, oh, who wrote Stealing? I'm like, oh, I did. Like, oh. So after I tell them that I write my own music, they just respect me, period. So. Okay. Okay. That is definitely what's up. All right, well, let me ask you about record labels then, because, you know, even though I know you rock in jazzy management and y'all doing all all that y'all could do, and y'all putting it down, like, you know, if you look out and you look at Atlantic, you look at Interscope, you look at all these other other industry uh, labels, and, of course, you being a music person, you know the history of music, so you know how it was compared to how it is. So how do you feel about just the record labels in general nowadays with this 360 deals and the whole whole little thing like that? Honestly, I wouldn't sign a record deal if that was the last offer I was given in my life. I I wouldn't sign, like, a major uh, deal to anybody. I think the deals that they're giving out is BS. But, you know, most people are going to take it, especially if you're just just doing it for the money. You're going to take a deal. Regardless of what deal they give you, you're just going to be so excited, and then you're going to take it. Um, me, on the other hand, I would I wouldn't sign. I'll just continue to rock with Jazzy. They're too good to me. So I That's just stay up. and you know, and, and we'll just hold on. I'll just stay and just, you know, rock it out with my one, team. One thing but, I could one thing I could say about Jazzy though, and, and shout out to uh Mike Mitch and I'm following this dude on uh Twitter, Mike Mitch L A and you know what I'm saying? Your, your people's, I mean, your, your team seems pretty pretty large. Like, you know, I know you on Twitter, and people can follow Christina Love on Twitter at I am Christina Love. Um, yes, sir. And, and, and I see you out there. You got, you know, I got you. I see your hashtag is Team Pretties and hashtag mm-hmm. Pretty Gang. And, you know what I'm saying? Who who are they? And should I be scared of those people? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, I, I hear Pretty Gang, and I'm like, ooh. Oh my I don't God. know to get either turned on, but or 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 what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? Is that is that just your little thing? Small. Those are my babies. Like, okay. they 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 just support me in every way. No matter you know, no matter what I'm doing, I don't care if I'm just going to the mall. I'll be like, oh, I'm going to the mall, and they'll come out and they'll meet up with me, and you know, we'll I'll meet them. Sometimes I don't know them all, but you know, they'll come out and just find me in the mall and. I'm like, oh hi, baby. But those that's just my, my, my team. You know, every artist should have a brand. Right. And that's my brand. You know, I don't want okay. like like a nothing nothing too too ratchet. Just keep it simple, you know? I mean and <laughs> I and I try to be ratchet. as pretty Yeah, I, I try to be as simple <laughs> as possible. But 
just team pretty. That's it. If you and and that could be a guy too, but some guys be like, I ain't pretty. So I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. whatever. Cause, cause okay. I was gonna say like, you know, what 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 if I was to meet you in the in the mall? Like, you know, what what, what would you call that? Like that interaction. I'd be like, here, boo, take my number down so we can go on a date. Okay, but okay. you gotta pay. You gotta pay though. You you pay it for the first date, and then I'll pay for the second one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all, at all. all, right. all right. Dude, that's the one we get down in 2013. So yeah. I'm 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 like I'm over here blushing like I'm some little 18 year old oh or something God. like that over here. I'm over there cheesing it. Um, Denai, I guess Denai has a game that uh, we would like to play on Ladies Night Radio. So, uh, Denai, go ahead and uh, go ahead and throw. Well, you know, it's not it's not the game that. Well, see, I was gonna say something. Oh, but. See, we have to be. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. Like this all the time. Hey. So. Hey, I'm. I'm right. just. So I'm gonna be. I'm, I'm in my Christina can I, love zone can I start right now. Can I start, can I start the game? Is sure, go ahead, Drew. Thank denied. you very denied. much. Sorry. Go ahead. Actually, Christina love. So, uh oh, what's that? What, what's the game? What are we playing? I know it. He won't let me tell you. We, we can play something season. later though. That's the we word can play something later though. Uh oh. <laughs> you, you are country, country. Go ahead tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I won't interrupt you no more. Go ahead. Okay. So I'm gonna say an R&B artist name, and you give me one word that comes to mind. Keisha Cole. Who? Keisha Cole. Kills. Okay. What, um, what was the word? What was the word again? I didn't hear it. I said chills. chills. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Glass. <laughs> Breaking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is fun. This is fun. <laughs> you said one word, right? <laughs> yeah. One word. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she got a date. <laughs> Damn, she has to think about it. That's not good. <laughs> you can say okay, you can okay. say pass you can say pass baby you you be good you can say pass you okay you okay okay what pass what will pass on Mariah okay Fantasia G D is that one <laughs> Y'all can't get me out here and get the ride now. Start busting people out. I love you. Okay. I love you for keeping it solid, baby. That's all good. That's all good. Oh, Lord have mercy. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Last one. Brandy. Monica. <laughs> 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 oh, that is classic. That is classic. Oh my God. That is classic. Oh, All right, let me give you oh, let me give you two R and B guys. Let me give you two R and B guys. First one is okay. Usher. Usher. Let's see. Usher. Sexy. I don't know why I even had to think that hard. <laughs> 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 he like pineapple. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, okay. uh, Brian Brian McKnight. Oh man, Brian McKnight. I think of. I was just listening to one of his songs tonight too. Uh, when I think of him, I think of his piano. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I was just I, I swear I was just listening to his song. One of my uh, one of my friends she asked me, she was like, Can you sing at my wedding? And I was like, Hell yeah, you just gonna have to tip me first And then I heard um, that. she's like, What she she said, What song are you gonna sing? And I was like, uh, never felt this way So she was like, I never heard that one And then I started singing it. She's like, Oh, I'm gonna cry I was like, Girl, don't be crying now. I'll cry with you. <laughs> you can't <Okay>. cry. <laughs> hey, hey, you gonna you gonna oh, sing that? Our, you gonna sing that at our wedding? 
I'm gonna sing that too. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna sing, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the '90s song. I'm gonna Ooh, be like, take it back then, I'll back. sing my way. Uh, hey. Shall we hey. hey. to meet me? Now would you please sing my way? Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Shout out to good. Shout out to good. good enough for me. Good to see you, Ella Crazy. Hey, hey. Hey, Denai, before you um, before you ask her a couple more questions before we let her go, Christina Love is our guest on Ladies Night Radio. Um, I'm going to play a clip off of that song that you was talking about, too. I want to play, like, you know, a 30-second clip for a movie. And, um, and, and, and I want to play it just to, like I said, I know a lot of people out there heard the, to start the show and her speed limit and how, you know, real, real – dope that song is so i'm gonna I'm give people a little taste of movie so we're gonna we're gonna give them a little bit right here on ladies night christina love and she is our yeah. guest on ladies night radio um albums album coming out videos what's what, what's on the horizon for you as far as um your 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 music and, and and putting this out there for the listeners all over the world my music i'm, I'm working on an album right now and that'll be dropping dropping next year Mm-hmm. Sometime okay. next year, and then I'll start working on videos. Right now, I'm just doing a lot of writing, doing a lot of recording, doing a lot of um, developing. As far as you know, me as a person and and my voice, and just trying to build my brand before I actually like get it going. You know, so I'm just Not trying to true. be That's smart because what you know, once it once it comes, it's it's coming. You know, so right. I want to be ready for it. One thing one one thing I gotta say that I gotta tell you and I'm you know I'm trying to, you know, make sure that I say this and and and, and not go crazy when I do because, you know, I, I, I love me some Christina Love and also as a as a listener of music and as a fan, um, you know, I like I like how you tell your stories. I mean if anybody that's listening, not just not just listening but just kinda hearing uh how you put it down, like you know, even from this clip right here, like, you know, you're painting a picture. And, and and I just think it's real dope. And not too many people do it like that nowadays. They used to. Thank you. They don't do it like that right. nowadays. But I like, to, I like to see the fact that there is somebody like yourself still doing traditional stuff as far as setting the mood. Because Thank I think you. that stands apart. You stand apart from a lot of other people who just do... Music and really, we don't know what the hell they're talking about half the time. So yeah, know. they they go from they go from they they go from one subject to another subject, and then during, at the end of the song, you like I don't even know what the hell just happened. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I told I understand completely. I I really no do, doubt. but I really appreciate you for appreciating me. That means a lot to me. Oh uh, no, I, I, I got I got I got Christine I got Christina Love in my veins right now. It's all good. <laughs> All good. <laughs> just don't know, oh, girl. Man. You just don't know. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> wow. Oh, you don't know. Uh, that's you don't know. <laughs> this one. I said, but yeah. <laughs> no, but definitely. Like I said, your music is phenomenal. Love your personality. It's been a blast. You home on Ladies Night Radio. Please do not be a stranger. Come on, hang out anytime. So Yay. I won't. <laughs> I promise. I'ma just Can call you? in and just check on y'all. Hey, and bug, for sure. and bug yeah. other artists. I'm gonna be asking them crazy questions. Yep. Hey, oh, and you, you can come take over this show. You can come take over any show anytime. That's not a problem. Not okay. a problem. So give out your information. I mean, are you gonna have because I know you're you're attached to um, Jazzy and, and once again shout out to Jazzy for doing all they, they that all that they do because to me I just feel like Your team is you know dope, man. the 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 team. the team the the team you got is definitely good on communication that's one thing that I love like if, if we gonna have a cool marriage like I would love communication. <laughs> okay. hint, hint. I'm hint, glad hint. you threw that out. I'm glad you hint. did because you know hint, hint. men don't like communicating. Hint hint. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> no. I love it. I embrace it. <laughs> I am okay, well, So, you know, jazzymanagement.com is uh is a website to go check out all the artists from from that umbrella and also follow this young lady on Twitter at I am Christina Love and um 
Yeah, you got to come back and hang out again because, yeah, you're, this you're is definitely. So fun. You're definitely. Uh, I'm glad we had fun. <laughs> hey, I did. I, I like that game we played. That was a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> And I'm not even lying. Those were really the words that came to my head when I talked about people. <laughs> I can definitely like for real. Said, Whoa. Hey, that's, what's up hey, that, real. that's what I like. That's what I like. I love that. I love that. <laughs> so don't be a, don't be a stranger. And, and like I said, I mean, we're, we're hitting you on Twitter. I'm already following you, and I'm gonna make sure we keep the communication lines wide open, sweetheart. And and like I said, I just I just feel and it, it goes out to you and your team and your management. Um, you know, anything that we could do to be able to push not just Christina Love, but just the jazz umbrella, else, just, yeah. you know, let let us know. And we're right here. I mean, we've been on on the air doing this thing almost six years. And, you know, like I said, you're just adding on to the to the to the to the legend that is what we do. So, you know, I'm, you. I'm, I'm here. I'm here for the long haul for you, sweetheart. But I, I just really okay. appreciate you for having the talent that you do have. And and, and I just want to see you go far. So whatever whatever we could do. We got you. Okay. Thank you so Chris, much. Christina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna play guys. a little bit of I'm gonna play a little bit of speed limit and we're gonna come back uh with our next guest and, and more on uh on Ladies Night Radio hosted by Denia I am branded. Oh, and the beautiful Christina Love. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Good night. Thank you for listening to the number one radio station for the people. 